Xander Sergiani to 11, 11 a.m. December 20th. Yeah, a piece of this is I just said out loud in my room is these people are just so, like, have no respect for human life. They're just these arrogant, pompous bastards who sit around bombarding me with telepathy all day and basically radiation fired at my brain. They, bomb, they bombard my brain with radiation and think they have the right to. It's so infuriating. They don't even know the consequences of the tech they use and they're using on me, using it on me like it's no big deal and they're trusting someone who tells them it's harmless. Who has more than conflicts of interest like multi-trillion dollar lawsuits, life in prison, the death penalty. So they're believing some guy so desperate it's scary and he's like, oh, it's harmless. Uh, don't arrest me. Don't sue me. It's harmless. Yeah. So then they are sitting here bombarding me with this technology and this telepathy, for example, and they don't even know the type of radiation. They don't know the consequences of it. And they act like it's no big deal. Being bombarded with, radi having your brain bombarded with radiation and people disrupting the firing of your brain and not knowing the exact consequences or the dangers of it. That's, and this goes on daily, five, for five years and 10 months, 12 to 17 hours a day, sometimes longer. That's psychological torture alone. Just thinking if you're going to get brain cancer or Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or permanent some form of permanent neurological injury, conduction and disturbances. That, having to think about that every second of the day, that's psychological torture just from that. So when are these guys just going to prison? And who are the idiots not arresting them? That's t at least 20 years. It's witness tampering. That's 40. How uneducated are the people overseeing this nonsense? Are they stupid? 